Summer patterns for largemouth are in full swing. This means slowing your baits down in the middle of the day and fishing deeper water. Water depth is relative to the body of water you're fishing. So when you're fishing small ponds, this can actually help since the fish will begin to congregate. Fish are gonna be seeking cooler water with higher oxygen levels during the day. That doesn't mean you won't find the random oddball hanging in shallow water ambush points looking for a meal. That fish just probably missed the breakfast bell. Middle of the part of the day is usually not an active feeding window. You're gonna to wanna to downsize your baits and get them right in front of the fish. Keep in mind too, that they won't wanna move far for what amounts to a convenience feeding opportunity. Drop shots, Ned rigs, and all your soft plastics are good choices. Today, I focused my fishing on using a five inch black and blue Senko Wacky Rig, one of my personal favorites. Uh, deep parts of this small pond are only six feet deep or so with very well-defined ledges and clean bottoms. This allows that Senko to slowly drop weightless and the fish just couldn't resist it. And I'm gonna drop a link below in the show description to the exact setup of the baits I was using today. This chain pickerel had an extra hook stuck in his side. While it didn't seem to be bothering him too much, I did remove it as best I could. Now sometimes I can't help express my disappointment when a pickerel takes a bait, but they do fight well and they're really super aggressive fish. It's just that I'm bass fishing. So one thing a pickerel does do for you is let you know that the color of your bait choice for the day is good and that that bait also resembles what the fish in that water are currently feeding on. You got a little hook in your side, buddy. I'm going to help you out here, okay? First, I'm going to get. Well, first, I'm going to get this other hook out. Well, I'm not sure I should. Pickerel surgery. Well, buddy, what's left? Good luck. I wish you luck. This happens to all of us. It doesn't it feel like sometimes you've totally forgotten how to fish? Fighting bushes to get a bait back is definitely less fun than fighting fish. And this is also how those random spiders end up crawling around inside your kayak. Today was a day of also trying new things with my GoPros. You may have noticed the different camera angle. Since I've started standing to fish quite a bit, this side shot from the rear of the boat seems to be a pretty great angle. You have to be careful as the boom arm is away from the boat and tends to snag branches and overhangs in close quarters. But it does provide a great view of the landing zone when fishing. GoPro, stop recording. I also experimented today with setting my cameras up for looping to save card space. This is why occasionally I yell at my GoPros to stop and start recording. And I'm not sold on this setup, quite honestly. I prefer turning the camera on, letting it run, really not thinking too much about it during the day. Large SD cards make it one less thing to think about when you want to concentrate on your fishing. 
Plus, from time to time, I get some pretty random things that I may not have saved when looping. Today's big fish was 19 inches and about four and a half pounds. Now, while I know that doesn't seem like a big fish to a lot of you, I sure hope I never stop getting excited about a quality fish puts up a good fight. This fish was sitting near the bottom in about six feet of water on a lay down next to a ledge. Perfect location for middle of the day. He was just chilling when my worm dropped by his nose and he decided to commit. Yes! Yes! Good golly! Would you look at that? Would you look at that fish? Woo! Yes, sir. You look at the size of the maw on this beast. Woo! Barely hooked, too, brother. Barely hooked. bite was very subtle. He didn't run off with the bait, but instead just sucked it in and sat there with it. I keep that in mind on these midday fish. They are not taking an aggressive feeding posture and will not scramble away with your bait. You can see how lazy he was being today by the way he decided to be done with me. All in all, this was a good day. I mean, we would all prefer an active feeding time for our fishing, but sometimes that just doesn't line up. The best time to go fishing is every chance you get, even if that means fishing in the middle of the day in the summer. close to that 350 subscriber count, don't forget to enter the giveaway where we'll be selecting a random comment to win a Bass Pro Shops e-gift card. There's a link to that video in the show description, and I'll also drop a link at the top of the video here. Uh, there'll also be a link at the end of the video too. So if you haven't done so already, it would be great if you would consider subscribing to the channel and make sure to tap that little bell icon to be notified when a new video is dropped. Also, you might want to check out our weekly fishing report podcast that's released every Tuesday night. You can find that at MarylandFishingLine.com. It is available everywhere you get your podcasts. Plus, it is also released here on the YouTube channel as an audio-only video. Thanks, everybody, for watching. I hope you've enjoyed this video. Until next time, tight lines. GoPro, stop recording. <laughs>